What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the video blog one more time, the Hoxton Trend. Right peeps, it's a new year, 2014. Uh, it's my first video, 2014, really? It's a new year, 2018. First video that I've done. And I just wanna say a super happy new year to everyone. And a big thank you to all my followers, all my supporters on social media, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, Depop, Twitter. I've just started a new Schnapps account, so go and check that out where I'm trying to like grow a community on there where we can all kind of get together and talk about clothing. Um, it's been quite a while since I've been doing the YouTube now and it's a new year and I've got so many uh, plans that I want to kind of get on with and things that I want to try. So hopefully you guys will enjoy the new content that's coming up. And I just want to say a big thanks once again for all your support. So today the video that I'm going to do is called the monthly designer collection video. It's basically where I get tons of items in a month. Um, a lot of it's to trade, some of it's just for myself. And it's just a mixed bag of clothing that I usually um, share with my followers. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. So without further ado, let's crack into the show, man. All right, peeps. Two seconds. In this video, I've got tons of jackets in, man. So many jackets that I've got in. Um, lots of Montclair, got some Coach, a little bit of Stone Island, but I'm gonna share them all with you. Right, so the first jacket I've got in is this Montclair Braille jacket, which is this one right here. Now, it's a size two. I was a size three, but I'm actually feeling like I'm a size four now, so I've actually put in a little bit of weight. So I'm moving more into a large stroke, almost extra large. I was like a medium before. It's good and it's bad because most of my jackets are either a two or a three and I'm looking more like a four. I even had some jackets that were a five and even a six and they were fitting me, man, which is really crazy. But yeah, this is a size two, so way too small for me now. Uh, obviously, we've got the Montclair logo right there, as you can see. Bam, eventually got there. As I always showed you from day one, we've got the Certi logo. Well, it's not the Certi logo, it's just the hologram, Montclair's hologram authentication. And I'm not gonna show you the number because remember, don't show people the number, okay? Because it can block your um, Certi logo and then you have to contact, then you have to contact Certi logo and get them to sort it out. So it's a big old problem. So yeah, don't show it to people. The only issue with this one is that the comic has come off very slightly at the bottom there, which is really annoying. What you can do is if you have a skilled tailor or, la or laundrette, what they can do is they, they take the stitching up from this side here and then they go in here and they stitch that back and then they go back and re-stitch this bit down here at the side. So you, it can be repaired, but you do need a skilled laundrette or tailor that can sort that out, okay? Now I've been banging on about Coach for quite some time now. I love Coach. I've always um, kind of showed my followers about Coach. It's a bit disappointing because they're a really cool brand, but I don't know, man. They don't seem to be too, too popular over here in the UK, which is a shame. I think the quality of their leather is really, really good as well. See, it's got that kind of biker uh, patch detail there on the arm. This bit's like a kind of cotton wool. I'm not sure if it's cotton or wool. It does feel like wool. And then you've got lots of detail throughout with the zips over there. Nice, big, chunky um, coach zips, as you can see right there. Now, I managed to source this jacket. The only problem with this one is it's too small for it, for me. It's a 48. Now, 48 is coming in as a small, so I'm really kind of stretched to get inside this jacket, to be honest with you. Um, I can't remember the retail on this. I think, I think the retail was like 700 on this. It did go down in the sale. If you check out um, Coach at the moment, they're doing a pretty crazy sale at the moment. Okay, moving on to the next one. So the next one we've got in is this Montclair piece right here. It's, I wouldn't say it's vintage, but it is an old piece. Um, and I had it in a blue, I had it in a black, and this is the first time that I've had it in a green. You can see how they've done the pocket there. It's a little bit different. You can see it's got the two there. It's got the um, Certi logo, the older Certi logo tag. And if we look at the name of this jacket, it is called the Pomo Loss. Pomo Loss? Pomo Loss. Bam, can see it right there. Yeah, super nice jacket, really lightweight and quite rare. Not a lot of people um, will have that piece. Right, so the next piece I got in is this Montclair Gam Blue jacket. It's more or less near new condition. I've got the bag that's come with it as well. I've got the Montclair Gam Blue jacket bag, so that's a nice touch. Gam Blue is basically a collaboration with a chap called Tom Brown, who is a New York designer. They've been doing the collaboration for quite a number of years now, but unfortunately they're not doing the collaboration no more. That collaboration, I heard, will be discontinued. Which basically, I think, means that the Gam Blue stuff is gonna be uh, more exclusive. It's probably gonna hold its value. It's gonna become a, a little bit more rare as um, time goes on. And, you know, there's not too many Gam Blue pieces around. Uh, we know the Gam Blue because we can see the badge is a little bit different there. The inside, it's got Tom Brown's trademark 
lining on the inside which is this kind of pinstripe detail that you can see nice bit of details on the cuffers you can see they're using some simple ykk zippers on this one okay so yeah that is the that's the gam blue right got this stone island crinkle reps piece which you can see right here got this in this is a size small um I, I did have a lot more other stuff as well but they've just completely sold either on depot or they've just sold privately when people get in contact with me on instagram got a nice kind of uh, lining on the inside not much to say really apart from the material is quite nice but yeah i'm sure you guys have probably seen this one now i can't model this because i tried it on and i just looked absolutely ridiculous trying it on so yeah probably yeah uh, yeah, so right, moving on to the next piece that I got in is this Grenoble piece. You can see it right there, again, size so small. But um, this is like a cardigan almost type jacket, really, really nice. It says viscous and polyester. Well, feels like wool, almost. Nice, lightweight piece for the spring, summer. Bit of a unique colour as well, very rare. Um, the Grenoble stuff is meant to be the more technical range from Montclair. So a lot of this stuff is meant for more like skiing or extreme outerwear and stuff like that. This is just part of the Grenoble range, so it's, uh, yeah, it's basically part of that collection. Right, moving on to some stuff, stuff that's a little bit more exciting now. Now, I put this up on my um, Instagram not too long ago. People really liked it. It's called the Montclair Shamonix. Now, I had one of these in the past in an orange. I was so lucky to get this one in. It's a mint color. Love this now. I thought the color was really, really stunning, really nice, extremely warm, so comfortable on. And it's just a little bit different. Obviously, you've got the Montclair badge there. Really nice, big, chunky Lampo zips there. So we know this is a little bit of a older jacket, maybe two, two to three years old, roughly. I like the way it's a bit different because you can see at the bottom there, it's got a different tone of color. So it's more of a gray at the bottom and then it just continues with that mint lime kind of color going all the way through. So yeah, man. Okay, more crazy jackets coming up. We've got this jacket here. I've got the name of it. What's it called? Montclair Brel. Um, one of the things that kind of attracted me to Montclair when I first started getting the jackets is I, I just like the way they use different materials on the jacket. So for example, this one, we've got the polyamide finish, but then we've got some wool detail throughout the jacket. So yeah, really nice piece, this one. Um, this one is a size two, so unfortunately it's too small for me. So it's time to have this sold, okay? So again, this is on my Depop. So yeah, check it out on there, man. Nice piece. Yeah, saucy. This jacket I got in from Coach again. Now, as I said, they are on sale. This was 1,700 and it's gone down to 700 pounds. So you guys know I love Sherlin jackets. I've got a few Sherlin jackets from Coach already. Um, they're, you know, for leather jackets, they're probably one of my favorite brands. But what I always say to people is, you know, they're always going on sale, especially around Christmas time, around this time, they're always on sale. So I, I usually just wait. I never usually pay full price on coach because as I said, people don't really seem to like the jackets here, man. But I'm telling you, the quality of these jackets, like, people are sleeping on these, man. They're not taking it seriously, but yeah, coach. Now, I did have a bit of a gripe uh, when I tried this jacket on. It was perfect on the shoulders, but I just felt that the um, that the sides just came out a little bit. I, I felt like it was a little bit boxed, so I was a little bit disappointed. I kind of wished that the jacket put a little bit in at the waist, just like a little bit, because for me it was just a bit too, I know it's too boxed, man. So I'm really in two minds about keeping this. Chances are I'm gonna send it back. Um, this is a size 50. I might need a 48, it's really weird. I don't know, I just thought there was too much excess on the waist. I, I just hate that kind of box, baggy type of fit. Uh, and for the money for 700, if I'm gonna keep it, I, I just need to make sure that I'm 100% happy. And I, and I don't feel like that, unfortunately. Moving on to the next one I've got is this Stone Island jacket. Now, I'm not usually a big fan of white jackets because obviously they get dirty really, really quick. Stone Island. Um, this one was called the uh, Micro Reps. Micro Reps with Primal Off Insulation. So Primal Off Insulation is like a, um, it's a man-made uh, insulation. It's synthetic, but it's meant to be one of the um, thinnest, lightest insulation there is. So you can really make some extremely light, extremely thin jackets, but they can also be very, very warm as well. So that's what the Primal Loft technology is about, okay? You can see you got some kind of, I'm not sure if it's wool or cotton, but you got some detail um, throughout there, which is quite nice. Really nice fit. It feels really warm. It, I don't know, I, I really like this jacket, man. I love the cuffs on it as well. So you can cuff it and make it a little bit tighter if you wish. Obviously you got the badge there and everything. Um, this one comes with the Certi logo. I can just show you the Primal Loft 
Ta da! Come on, camera. Get in. Love it. Right, next jacket, I'm going to show you another Montclair piece that I got in called the Montclair Chavon. Bam, look at that. This jacket is really puffy, man. Nice bit of puff to it. Badge there, obviously. Um, the hood is not detachable, so it, it, it won't come off. So look, bam, size five. Yeah. Right, last one is this Averex jacket. Now, a lot of you old school cats will remember Averex um, for making amazing leather jackets. This one is non, not different. Some of the Averex that they brought in the past had kind of like really striking colors, really crazy designs. This one is just a standard kind of like flyer aviator jacket. Um, with the fur on the side there that can come off and on the inside as well There is um, there is like a bit of a vest that you can take off as well Which has got a bit of down so you can remove that if it's a bit hot and you don't want that feature on there But for leather jackets man, I'm telling you Averix is one of the best um, leather jackets you can find You can't get Averix anymore um, It was an American company and it was bought out by a Chinese company So you can only find Averix, um, new Averix in Japan or China now, you can, there is a big second-hand market, especially in the US, so if you look on ebay.com um, and ebay.co.uk and eBay Germany, you will find some nice Averexes. And if you look hard enough, you can get them at some really good prices. I mean, when these jackets came out, they were like from about between 500 to 1,500 pounds. So the quality on these leather jackets is like, I'm telling you, man, they will last forever, okay? So that's it, man. That's it for the monthly designer collection videos. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Lots more videos coming. Remember to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Snaps. Hmm, I think that's about it, man. All right, peeps. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in a bit, yeah? Peace out.